Tunisia's foreign minister, Muldi Kefi, said on Friday that his government was ready for the upcoming elections, scheduled on October 23rd. On the 1st of October, the campaign is going to start and that everybody, we, we hope that everybody will uh, put aside their own uh, egocentric and individualistic demands and look for the big picture. In an interview with Associated Press, Kefi conveyed his hope for a new sense of national democracy and for the new administration to address security concerns. Every government is concerned when elections uh, are coming, uh, even uh, for uh, a long-standing democracy, let alone uh, a newborn de democracy like ours. Yes, there is some concern from the uh, security forces, from, uh, from the people themselves, uh, but uh, we are counting on the uh, uh, wisdom of the Tunisian people, of the Tunisian electorate, of the Tunisian citizen, men and women, uh, to uh, give not only the Tunisian people, but uh, the whole international community who have their eyes on our uh, experience. Uh, as I said, uh, it will probably uh, going to be uh, a bellwether, uh, uh, a model for the others. The elections will be the first since the national uprising began, which saw the ouster of President Zine al-Abidin bin Ali in January and heralded the Arab Spring in the region. Uh, if the Tunisian experience takes roots and succeeds, uh, I'm sure uh, in Egypt, for instance, like uh, the revolution started in Tunisia, democracy also will, will take root uh, in Egypt and uh, also in Libya because, uh, you know, uh, the wind of freedom uh, knows no, uh, no borders. So uh, hopefully the Tunisian experience, uh, we hope it will be a success story and uh, it will spread to our neighbors as well. Kefi urged international parties to assist Tunisia in dealing with the new challenges the country would face, including salvaging its economy, which has suffered since the unrest began, and re-employing nearly 7 million residents. Nora Faraj, Al Arabiya.